Another five minutes mystery. Inspector Dunn, come in. Came as soon as I got your phone call. What's up, Lieutenant? Well, usually Navy intelligence doesn't call in anyone else on the case. But now we're dealing with murder. Mm-hmm. Does the name A92 mean anything to you? A92? Isn't that the Navy fighter that crashed in the test flight? That's right, Inspector. We have a Navy tackled the job of seeing what went wrong with the plane. That was no accident. It was sabotage. Sabotage? Yes. Sabotage caused his death, or, to be blunt, murder. That's where I come in. Yes, that's right. Tell me, Lieutenant, how did the A-92 happen to crash? Well, the plane was pretty well damaged by the time we reached it. But we did find marked indications that the landing gear had been tampered with. Wasn't the plane closely guarded before the test? Yes, it was. And with the exception of the ground crew, only three men came in contact with the plane. Well, who were they? Well, of course, it was Malloy, the pilot who was killed. Yes. And then it was McGraw, who was another pilot... And Jager, who is the chief mechanic. Hmm. When could I question these two? Right away, if you want to. I've got them waiting in the next room. I'll call them in here. Uh, McGraw, Jager, come in, please. Sure, Lieutenant. Yeah. Boys, this is Inspector Dunn. How are you doing, Lieutenant? Uh, Sit down, won't you? Sure. McGraw here was to have been the pilot from the test. But he fractured his wrist a few days ago, so Malloy had to take over. Mm, they certainly were lucky, McGraw. You could have been in that crash instead of the other fellow. Yeah, you said it. Tell me, Jager... What were your duties around the A-92 as chief mechanic? Well, after the ground crew got finished with the plane, I'd make the final check. Did you do that the day the A-92 crashed? Yes, Inspector, and I didn't find anything wrong with it. Can't understand it. That fighter could have been the most powerful thing on wings if it hadn't cracked up. There was nothing the A-92 couldn't do. I should have made airplane history. Malloy, he didn't trust any of these new grease monkeys. He always wanted the plane to be given a last okay by Jager. Say, Inspector, uh, would you like the names of the ground crew? There might be a phony among them. No, Jager. I think I've got our saboteur. What do you mean? I mean he's in this very room. Well, don't just sit there, Inspector. Tell us who he is. Yes. Certainly, gentlemen. Our combination murderer and saboteur is none other than Chief Mechanic Jager. What clue led the Inspector to believe that Jager is the guilty one? We'll give you the solution in a moment. Back to our story. What, me, a saboteur? Well, my job is to repair planes, not to destroy them. And your job is also to give the final okay on the A-92. Yeah, If anything had been done to the plane prior to your inspection, you would have noticed it. But no, there was nothing wrong with the A-92 till you gave it a final check and sabotaged it. Inspector, why would he do a thing like that? Possibly for money, or maybe a possible grudge. I don't know now, Lieutenant, but I think the boys at headquarters will get that out of him quick enough. Come on, Jager, we're going to take a little ride. (laughs) 